Hi, my name is Shanika Andi Coyantes and welcome to my blog. So for today, I will be doing an activity in Anatomy and Physiology Laboratory. And this activity is composed of um, an online stimulation on how to use the microscope. So I will be exploring and learning the things on how to use the microscope, their specific parts and specific functions, and also um, the proper care and handling of this microscope. So you can follow me along on how to use it. So let's go. Okay, so I'm now here at um, the website of a virtual microscope. So let's start. Guide tip. Welcome to the virtual microscope. Select an option from the menu below to use the resource guide and learn more about the microscope to explore and to test your knowledge. So let's first click this guide button. So the guide button is a reference guide on how to use um, the microscope and its terminology its care and proper handling, the parts of the lenses, the overview or the introduction of the microscope, and so on. Next, we have this learn button. Well, so basically in this part, um, it shows the parts and the specific functions of the microscope. So we will start here at the upper parts. I'm not going to read the definitions or the functions one by one, but you can pause the video if you like. So first we have the eyepiece lens. And in the back of the eyepiece lens, we have the body. We also have the arm, the nose piece or the turret, and the objective lens, which varies into three. So there's 4X or the low power, 10X or the medium power, and 40x for the high power. But we also have a high power lens, which is a um, oil immersion type of lens. We have the diaphragm and the stage. So let's go into the um, lower parts. Of course, we have the on and off switch of the microscope, the coarse focus to adjust your um, light, brightness, or sharpness of the sample that you want to be seen, and the fine focus. We also have the base that holds all the parts of the microscope in place, and the stage adjustment knob. Now here we have different materials in the side of the microscope. So first we have the immersion oil. If you want to put your lens into a highest power, you can use this uh, material. We have the lens paper right over here used to wipe the lenses or to clean the lenses of your microscope. For this Kim wipes is a special paper-based cleaning wipes that is used for cleaning your laboratory equipment. And of course, um, the most important part to examine the um, samples of in through the microscope is the slides. So this is where you put your samples and your specimen. Okay, so next. So these are the different parts or the different types of lenses that is used. This is basically the main top part of the microscope, the eyepiece lens. And here we have the objective lens, which have different objectives. Okay, next, let's explore on how to use the microscope. Okay, so first of all, we will get a slide or a sample right over here. Here are the sample slides. So I'm going to try this letter E, which is one of the basic um, samples to study on how to use the microscope. Okay. So here, as you can see, there is a coarse focus and a fine focus knob. So since the picture is blurry, we need to adjust this to see the brightness and the clarity of the picture and the fine focus for more sharpness. You can also adjust the light if you want, but it's not necessary if you put more brightness to your picture since 
it will not be seen anymore. So after 4x or the low power objective, you will now move to 10x. So 10x is a more closer view of the picture, 10 times closer. So again, it's already adjusted, but you can still adjust it if you want, the course focus. And as you can see, if you adjust this, the stand, I mean the stage also moves. So if you move this forward, the stage will also move upward, even the fine focus, but the movement is slower. Okay, now let's go to this 40x. It's a more closer view of the letter E, and this is one of the main parts of the letter E. So next, we're going to go to the oil immersion. Okay, so before you will use this lens, we will add immersion oil to the slide. So we, I'm going to click this immersion oil, and now it is um, replaced. So this is a very closer view of the letter E. So if you're gonna, if you want to adjust, then you can adjust it to um, look into a finer picture of the image or the sample that you want to be seen. Okay, if you skip this one into 4x, it is not um, necessary because it should be in order. So we're gonna do it backwards for x. So before that, we will use a lens paper to um, wipe the slide because it has an oil immersion in it. Okay, then you're good to go. Next, I'm gonna do another slide to um, explore uh, a more um, specific view of the samples. So I'm gonna start here. I'm just gonna try the plant cells. There you go, so the picture is blurred, so you're gonna adjust it. There you go, and then the fine focus for more sharpness then you can see the closer view of the plant cell. For 10x, it will look like this. And for 40x, 40 times closer, it's a more um, closer view of the cell. So you will see the little components on what the cell composes at the same time. Okay. That's more on that, so I'm going to try to um, test myself in one of the quizzes on how to use the microscope or the lessons related to the microscope. So I'm going to pick a category, care and usage. Okay, so immersion. Okay, so that's mainly it for the quiz. And I think um, that's mainly it. So these are all the things on how to use the microscope. And I learned many things from it. So thank you for listening and God bless.